Ну, еще что-то материальное, не только... Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my God. Um, so, well, so I thought what I would do today is just uh, kind of walk you through a little bit about sort of, you know, my background and what I do because I have a feeling that uh, there's a lot of designers here, so I have a feeling that we do a lot of the same things. And I, I want to just sort of explain sort of what, what I do in terms of my business and then also what I do in terms of uh, the products and different things that, I, that I'm involved in. So, um, my background. Um, I, I studied at Syracuse University. Uh, it's um, in Syracuse, New York, in upstate New York. And I have a degree in interior design. And then I, uh, I just won't work. I, um, I then worked uh, at Parrish Hadley. Um, Robert Metzger and then Jeffrey Bill Huber for a total of about nine years and then I opened my company Tom Felicia Incorporated about uh, 15 years ago and here we'll go to the next slide and then um, I'll see okay so so my bit my company we do both residential and commercial design and so I thought I'd walk you through some residential and then some commercial and we'll go from there um, so I thought I would start with, a, this is a very American uh, sort of style home uh, in Connecticut. And um, this is a project that uh, I did for a family that is sort of their weekend house from New York City. So th these are some uh, interior shots of the house. Um, and what I, what I generally do in design is that um, when I do sort of more classic traditional work, it tends to, um, when I work with a traditional home, my, my style tends to cool down uh, traditional and, uh, um, and, and sort of warm up modern, and that's sort of where my, my taste and sort of style kind of lands in the middle. Um, I, I use some of, these are pieces from my product line and in other uh, antiques and other pieces that I mix together, so it's not always just my work. Um, and so this is just another part of the living room. Um, again, it's uh, sort of a, a sort of a very classic home, but with sort of a clean, lean sort of point of view or young point of view, I would say for for this couple. So this is a great example of this could have been a very classic sort of uh, mahogany or, or or walnut kind of library. And what we did was we took our inspiration from uh, the client's artwork, and I actually decided to make the entire room sort of this monochromatic blue, the wood, sort of make it feel a little bit more, a little bit younger and fresher. They're a very young family, and I didn't want it to feel too stuffy because it's kind of a big house for a young couple. Um, so this is another example of taking what could have been this very, very big kind of classic room and making it feel young and fresh uh, for this couple with two very young children and sort of keeping it just feeling uh, less formal, and, and, and it's a sort of uh, play on American classic meets sort of modern and fun. Okay, so this is, um, this is now an apartment uh, that, I, that I worked with, um, uh, my team and I worked with uh, Tina Fey and her husband, she's an actress in New York, she's hilarious, she's a comedian, uh, and she's a lot of fun, and the apartment has that personality and that spirit as well. You'll, you'll notice in the, the work that it's not, um, it has a sense of wacky personality. She's unusual, she's funny, she's lighthearted. Um, and so trying to translate that into uh, her home uh, and her, to represent her, her and her husband, and, and they also have two young kids, was something that's really important to me, that the houses feel like the people that live there and that are an example of sort of their personality and explain sort of their story. Um, and you'll just see that throughout the apartment, that it's, it really is like, I, I'm, I, what I try to do with my clients is tap into um, who they are, what makes them unique, and sort of capture that and bring that into, the, into their design. Um, and so, again, you'll just see that's kind of throughout their entire home. Um, and, and it's something that is, it's, 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 it's um, I think it's important for us as designers to be cognizant that our, our work 
should be, our, our, our aesthetic and our style is something that's a point of view and that it should then sort of translate into our client's um, uh, sort of aesthetic. So here's an example of like a classic li a library, but having fun with it again, doing something where it's all lacquered uh, in, in, in uh, Tina's favorite color, eggplant, and um, it has all of her awards, and it's, it was a way to sort of make something that could feel kind of pretentious feel kind of light. Um, this is a house uh, that was in, uh, that's up in the Adirondacks in upstate New York, and it's really rustic area uh, on, the, on the lake, and um, so this is a house that again is very different than the other two, but is very much about the personality of the client and the location. Um, and so, again, so this was taking what could be a very kind of staid uh, space, very serious, a lot of wood, um, very rustic, and trying to make it feel loose and fresh, and again, feel, um, and really sort of tell the story of the people. If again, it's another, I have a lot of young families. <laughs> to get another young family with two small kids, well, two teenagers. So I wanted it to not. I wanted it to be something that they could use as a family, even though it's a very large home. Um, and so, trying to use materials in, a, in an unusual way, using sort of the bark from uh, trees on the lampshades, um, making sort of this combination of sort of kitchen and sort of sitting room, um, making it feel um, just uh, making it feel very inviting and comfortable and easy, although it's this kind of very big, uh, very large scale home for, for this family. So I wanted to make it feel inviting and approachable. Um, this was, uh, so this is a, a screen porch off of, uh, off of the sort of main living room, taking the idea of the sofas and actually hanging them from the ceiling and making it feel, again, a little unexpected and, um, and having fun with uh, sort of this indoor-outdoor. I love, I love playing with that, blurring that line between indoor and outdoor. Um, it's, a, it's something for me that's very important. Um, I love to be outside, and I love to be outside and be comfortable. So this is sort of a, 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 a good example of that. And so uh, this is, um, I, you know, every room in the house sort of is a little bit of, a, of an experience. So for their daughter, I wanted it to appear that she was sleeping in the woods, um, but not be scary. <laughs> and, um, and actually, um, and just, it's sort of being an experience so that when she's, they, they have more than one home, so I wanted it to be the kind of thing that when she goes from house to house that there's, you know, it feels authentic, it feels, it's not a repetition of the same thing, uh, and it feels like she really gets a sense of the personality and the experience. Um, this is the master bedroom. It's a little bit of a tree house. We designed it so that it was kind of jutting out of the building and really taking in the water, the views, the island across the way, um, and that it really felt, again, like they were sleeping, like even for the, for the, for the, you know, the husband and wife who I designed this for, I wanted this to feel like something that was really like kind of exciting. They were excited to be there, that it was just an amazing experience. And, you know, the decor is very important, but it, it, each piece kind of works in, in sort of concert with the other pieces, and it feels collected and, um, and more, less decorated and more collected for this kind of house. Uh, this is sort of the outdoor area where we're looking. This is the view. So this is, this is really the reason that they're there. So I wanted, you know, again, so everything that was chosen throughout the house, the materials, fabrics and the collection of items was really sort of play off of that rustic experience, but to do it in a way that feels kind of cool and young and hip, as opposed to sort of old school. <laughs> um, okay, so this is, um, this was a house that uh, I did for uh, my client uh, Jennifer uh, Lopez and her husband, Mark Anthony. Um, this house is in Long Island. It was an old, Georgia, sort of a 1920s Georgian house. And she's very glamorous. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the task for this house was to take sort of her, her glamorous style and his very kind of masculine, clean style and sort of bring them together. Um, and also something that would respect the architecture um, and also their sort of sensibility, which is not very formal and the house was very formal. So it was creating that balance 
um, and sort of representing both of their styles. Um, and you can see sort of, you having these sort of modern kind of masculine uh, pieces mixed with this sort of more traditional architecture um, really was uh, a great sort of reflection of their personalities and sort of the informality that they brought to this old house. It was a house that was kind of, I think originally when they first bought it, they walked around and they, they just looked like they, didn't, they weren't sure exactly how it was gonna sort of make sense for them. And then once their pieces were put into it and we collected pieces and made it sort of bridge that gap, all of a sudden it started to feel really like it, it felt comfortable for them. Um, so again, here's this sort of mix of, you know, this is a mix of her and her, and then you have sort of him and him, and it's sort of this mix of sort of modern and then this glamorous, and allowing the architecture to sort of stand alone, stand on its own, um, and it was just kind of creating this balance. Um, okay, so this is, uh, this was a house in Manhattan, in New York City, and, um, and this was, a house where my client had a very modern building, very modern uh, townhouse, all glass and steel. And um, but he wanted it to feel he had a, he liked sort of classic traditional furniture, um, and so we created this sort of mix between sort of uh, classic and modern, and uh, sort of sort of masculine, you know, sort of for him. Um, and so this is sort of how how we sort of handled this project was, you know, we're using these very traditional pieces and then with our modern sofas that are actually from our collection and mixed with antiques, new pieces, um, and sort of, you know, modern uh, photography and creating, again, sort of a nice collection of pieces that make the modern apartment feel warm. So, uh, so this was, this is uh, the dining room. Um, I wanted to, uh, you know, do something really dramatic in this space. Uh, so we have uh, this amazing uh, photographer, Roberto de Tesco, who um, had, had this, we had this large piece of art installed uh, in the room. But again, it was, uh, you know, I wanted to, it to feel uh, vibrant. And, uh, and warm at the same time. You know, it's a very modern space. These are all floor to ceiling glass windows. But the idea was to make it feel warm and, uh, and sort of classic, but, but that it was responding to the modern architecture. So uh, this is the master bedroom. Um, and uh, it was funny. This was uh, sort of his side of the bed, which was a bit more modern and masculine. And this was her side of the bed, it was a bit more feminine. Um, and uh, sort of, that was hers. That's the master bathroom. Here again is funny because uh, she liked collecting, uh, he, he liked Calder uh, artists, and, and she was very much into these sort of classic uh, paintings that uh, were all, they were all ship paintings. And so we kind of mixed all of this together, and I think it created a really great, not only story, visually, but I thought they were really interesting in sort of contrast to one another, and it was, it was very cool. Again, here, sort of, sort of the modern glass, modern and steel, was sort of the more kind of like warm and inviting, uh, and so it was really about sort of mix of materials, the woods, the woven, the stone and steel, and then you, that's all kind of a little bit more uh, inviting, and then surrounded by all sort of the glass and steel. So that's, that was residential. That's what, that, I thought that was like a little bit of like different things that we do, okay. residential. The, these are now, I'll show you some uh, commercial projects that we do. Uh, this, is, um, this is a outdoor lounge that we did at New York JFK and in Atlanta um, for Delta Airlines. So this was a really interesting project because much like what I do for my residential clients, trying to figure out who they are and what, what their story is and what makes them kind of unique and special. Um, now I'm doing this for a company like Delta Airlines. So, uh, so I started with, and you know Delta Airlines is the red triangle. <laughs> so that's where we started with these. And the other interesting thing about this was because it's an airport um, and all of the complications that go with airports, especially today, um, and the safety issues. 
Um, everything had to be um, doused in airplane uh, fuel and lit on fire. And if it burned too quickly, we couldn't use it. So this is all the stuff that doesn't burn quickly. <laughs> it's true. It would have been much prettier if, it was, if the other stuff didn't burn as fast. I was like, what? Oh my god. It was like, Poof. I was like, that's what happened. I was like, oh my god, what are we going to do? But anyways, it worked out really well. And it, it, it worked out well, and the client was happy, so that's the most important thing. So, um, so this, is, um, where, this is a hotel that we're doing um, in, um, in, in Mexico. Uh, this hotel is called Mayacoba. Uh, it interestingly is half of the, is on the, the river, the lagoon, uh, with crocodiles, and then the other side is on the ocean. So it's really bizarre. And, um, and so this is a really interesting project because we're doing 33 houses, um, really uh, villas, 33 villas uh, for, for this brand. And they're a very high-end brand, but they're incredibly modern. And, um, and so we wanted to give them sort of a little bit of a heart and soul. So this is starting to look at sort of the interiors. Um, and it's in Mexico, so I was trying to incorporate sort of Mexican um, sort of motifs, but again, in a way that felt um, a little bit younger and sort of, I think, the more about the way we live today um, and making it again feel warm because it's very modern architecture and we wanted it to feel warm but not heavy because it's also 100 degrees. <laughs> um, and so the idea was we're working with like local artisans to develop a product and, um, and, and we're working with materials that will work both indoor and outdoor so that you can open the entire villa up uh, to, the, uh, to the outside and having the humidity and the heat not become a problem for the fabrics and the materials on the inside. So, and so now this is, um, this is a building that we're doing in Miami um, with a developer. It's uh, 399 apartments are in this and we're doing all of the common spaces uh, and the outdoor spaces. And so, the, so this, is a, this is a building on the bay in Miami, and uh, it's in a city, and it, the name of it is called Biscayne Beach. So we were taking the beach and the city and mixing them. Um, and so the idea was that we were, although you're in the heart of the city and you're not really on a beach, <laughs> the beach is far away. <laughs> So we kind of made it feel like the beach um, and brought, brought the sand in and, the, and the, the dunes and we wanted it to feel, um, you know, we wanted it to have that sort of sensibility even when you're sitting by the pool at your, at, 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 at your condo. Um, so that was sort of the idea. The beach is on the other side of those buildings. <laughs> That's okay. No, no, this is the bay. That's the bay. It's like that. And then the beach is on the other side of those buildings. <laughs> And again, you'll just see it, you know, it, it has this sort of Miami, Miami sort of modern aesthetic, but there's something a little bit softer and easier about it, and it doesn't feel quite as sort of slick um, as a lot of the other things that were on, uh, that they were competing with in the market, and it, it did really well because I think it just felt very natural, it had like a natural element to it, and an easiness to it, um, that just felt unique and different than anything else that there was, that we're competing with. And we sold the building out completely in like four months. And, and we worked with them to not only sort of do the interior decor, but we also were doing um, the hardscape of the space. The stone, the faucets, the tubs, the showers, the, uh, any, any of sort of the interior architecture so that it, we didn't want it to, all, all the stones were honed and we just made it feel very natural in an environment like Miami where everything is very shiny and kind of Glitzy, it feels sort of unique and, and different, which, um, and I think it's done very well because of that. So now this is a, a this is another, uh, this is a hotel, and uh, this is in Turks and Caicos, which is in the Caribbean, and this actually is on the beach, <laughs> and, um, and it's, uh, um, it's interesting because we were taking an old, an older hotel and transforming it into a much younger hotel. Uh, with a completely sort of reinventing it um, and making it sort of Caribbean, but sort of Caribbean cool or Caribbean light or Caribbean fresh. I'm not sure, but 
Not old Caribbean. <laughs> Uh, this is actually the inside of one of the villas, um, and it is, you know, there are these really great sort of little houses that are right on the beach, and um, they're, they're sort of open or classic, they're kind of these classic pavilions, and then they have this sort of very young, kind of easy, you can sit on anything in a wet bathing suit, it's just, it has a very sort of livable, but I think very appropriate for its location, uh, sort of sensibility. Uh, this is one of the this is one of the guest rooms um, in in the villa, um, and it just again is sort of mixing all of these sort of fun sort of textiles that are very simple on linen uh, and cotton, and it's very light and airy, but it has this sort of it has this sort of you know unusual sense of its own sort of personality. These chairs are a little over the top, um, and it just. You know, it's all about this, again, sort of this indoor-outdoor. And a lot of the textiles that I chose were really bringing the colors from the outside in um, and, and having that sort of water and sort of seagrass kind of coloration coming into the space. So, so for me, working with whether it's a client that is an individual or a couple or a family or a hotel brand uh, or a restaurant, it's really about figuring out who they are what sort of makes them sort of tick, what they're about, and taking what I do, which is really very much about sort of um, keeping things sort of clean and simple, but doing it in a way that fits the architecture, the location, and then my client, and sort of their point of view. Um, and I think, uh, so this is uh, the World's Fair in Japan that we did a few years ago uh, for, in Aichi, Japan. Uh, for, for the, uh, it was the, work, the American Pavilion, and they were asked me to do something that would represent the U.S. in a way that felt kind of the next generation of what, what that would mean. So we had to take, you know, sort of these influences of, of America and then put them into the, sort of a context that was for diplomats and different people from different parts of the world coming and uh, they were hosted in this space. And, and what I tried to do is I wanted to talk about sort of, sort of the next movement of what that really means to be, to represent, uh, you know, the, the country. And so what I did is I worked with artists, uh, people that made handmade rugs. Uh, this was an artist who, a tree fell down in a lightning storm and we brought it there and sliced it uh, in Japan. Um, and it just was really interesting to work with these sort of avant-garde, interesting people and having them be, sort of represent um, the, the, you know, sort of the idea of, of the U.S., which I thought was very interesting. There's a uh, cravat, which is textiles, safavia rugs, classical elements is curtain hardware, uh, eastern accents is bedding, um, MDC is our new wallpaper that we just uh, we just launched, uh, Soitcher Marin uh, is artwork. Uh, Shaw Hospitality is commercial rugs that we do. And then Vanguard Furniture is our furniture line. These are wall coverings with, uh, with MDC. Uh, this is uh, bedding, this is one of our beds. Uh, pillows, uh, throws, me and clothes I don't fit in anymore. <laughs> and then this is our artwork. We, we started developing artwork because, um, because we were doing hotels and we couldn't afford a lot of great artwork that we love out in the world. So we started making our own artwork. Um, and then we created an artwork, a line of artwork, which is really cool. Um, and we're actually expanding on that, which is actually a lot of fun. Product for me, it's a lot, I, I really enjoy it. I, you know, sometimes uh, friends of mine that are designers are like, it just seems weird to them, that we, especially that we make artwork. <laughs> like, what? And then, again, this is more, this is more of the furniture that we're starting to do with Kravit. So we have a, another line of furniture that's uh, Tom Felicia for Kravit, which is separate than the Vanguard stuff, but made by Vanguard. <laughs> um, so this is, and this is actually, um, these are photographs from our showroom at High Point. And actually it was High Point that was part of me being here because uh, when I met the team from, uh, from, from Moscow and St. Petersburg that was, that was traveling through, we met at my showroom. So yeah, so these, this, is a, this is a new uh, case piece that we introduced. Um, this is a new artwork, new furniture, new rugs. So yeah, so it was, it's actually a lot of fun. It's a lot of work to get ready for it, um, but it's, 
it's you know it, it's it's very rewarding and it's actually it's it's pretty incredible to have that opportunity to you know sort of translate your ideas into sort of actual physical things. Yeah. So this the new the new wall coverings was like our that was our new thing this year. That was really a lot of fun to design, and it was a, a really cool team that we worked with uh, at MDC. So that was that was like the debut. Um, it was a big deal. Um, now this is Sedgwick and Brattle is a, another company that we have in New York City, um, and it's a showroom in Manhattan that's only to the trade, and it basically shows some of our product that we designed for High Point with our different partners. So we have this basically to kind of show the product in New York City. So if designers are visiting or they're out shopping with their clients, they can come in and look at some pieces that we have on the floor, but also go through the book. So that's kind of what Cedric and Brattle does. Um, okay, so now um, I also I do um, I, I do I, I've done uh, television in the past, and I, I've done uh, I do, I've done a few shows. I did a, uh, I did uh, this show for five years. I did this show for uh, three years, and then I did this show for only one year. <laughs> um, and it was funny. But, um, and so I, I, do, um, I, I do a lot of like TV kind of appearances. I started working and doing design on television. So, and then we, we, we publish a lot in a variety of different magazines um, in the US, outside of the US, in uh, Mexico, in Turks and Caicos, in Canada, in Japan, in um, China, um, and now we're going to be doing some with, with uh, in, in Russia, which is very cool. We're super excited. Um, and we do residential projects and a variety of different uh, media kind of things. Laura Beck from, from the office is, she's amazing. Oh God, I forgot. And, and then books, so we have, I started out with a book called Tom Felicia Style. There was kind of an introduction to sort of what I do and why I do it. And, and also I did it really because I was on television and I had a design practice, and I didn't want there to be confusion that I was only a TV person. So that's why we, that's where this, this one started. And then uh, this was uh, the show that was on for five years, the first one, Queer Eye. It was a ton of fun, and it was a really big, kind of crazy runaway success, so that we did a book. This book is the one that's now, that I have now, uh, that is about my house outside of the city uh, that was falling down when I bought it and I bought it and fixed it up and turned it into my weekend house on the water, it's really pretty. I mean, the, the location is really pretty. Um, and so I found this old dilapidated house and kind of made it into a home. So it was really a story about how you can find something you love that's not so great and turn it into something really amazing and, um, and just kind of the story about doing that. And I think that may actually be it. So thank you, thank you. He's amazing.